thought the boys um, practiced well this morning. Thought they were really detailed in their assignments and the game plan. So I think they're really getting their minds right. We talked about them getting their minds right and knowing what type of games it's going to be. This is going to be a physical contest. This is going to be a Big Ten football game, and we've been here before. We understand what we need to do. Questions? Casey, Casey went a little bit yesterday. Uh, Chubba, Chubba took most of the reps, him and Logan, but Casey went a little bit yesterday. So Casey's going to have to be, we got a game time decision on Casey, see if he's going to be able to go. Absolutely. He's trying to convince me that he's going to play, but you know my rule for his injuries. He's got to tell me that he's ready to go, but then I got to have enough sense to say, you're ready or you're not. You know, but he's going to tell me he's ready to go. And I know right now Casey's telling me he's ready to go. Yes, Casey had a lot of reps. He had a lot of reps at Texas. He's a lot of reps, you know, here in Nebraska. So, yeah, he's a, he's a veteran kid that probably can play without the reps at practice. Yes, sir. I thought Chubba had a really good week of practice. I thought, you know, with the Chubba's a rep kid, so I think with the reps that he's gotten this week, I think he should be much better on Saturday if he has to go. Where do you see this? Has this team just kept its focus? I mean, I know last Saturday was disappointing, but how have you seen the team respond? The, the boys have been great. The coaches have been great. They, they, you know, we, we came in on Sunday, we, we talked about our mistakes and cleaning it up because it's a copycat league. And then we said we're going to put it on a 24-hour 20, route and we're just going to press on and get ready for Minnesota. So, we, we, you know, we ha you got to put losses behind you. We can't let Illinois beat us twice. So we had to get ready for Minnesota this week. And I think the boys did a great job of putting that behind them and moving on. Well, I think anytime you, you have a, a, um, a facility of that magnitude, I think that's great for the university. It's also great for the program. It helps you with your players because everything's in-house. But it also helps you in recruiting because kids, kids want to see nice things. They want to see nice things because um, that's, that's the generation. But I think it gives you a lot of, a lot of energy, you know, heading forward in the future. Well, we really hadn't we really hadn't talked about it, you know, with with the players. We really hadn't talked about it. I think the recruits kind of go through there and walk through it, but I, I don't think the kids have really talked about it because the facility in night, not right now is pretty nice. Who? Yes, they they should be available. Yes, sir. Like, like you said before, and one thing I learned about this conference, they're fifth and six-year seniors, and they, they play a, a, a even front, sometimes an odd front, but what they do, they do it very well. They play their keys, they get to their keys fast, and they read things really fast, and they get there. But they have a lot of experience. Kids have played a lot of football. So they're a solid defensive football team. I wouldn't say they're simple, but, I, but what they do, it's not a lot. It's not a lot, but it's not like the old Miami days where they were four, three, cover two every snap. But they, what they do, they do well. They don't do a lot, but what they do, they do well. What's, what's an extra point of emphasis for the offense, especially against the Minnesota defense that stops third downs at such a high rate? Well, we got we to gotta move the change. We got, when we get the third down, we got we to gotta have a great play call, and Whipple would do that. But then we got to execute the third down call and get the first down because they are really good on third down. Thank you.